New players coming to Rocket League are just coming to have fun with their friends and expect to climb the ranks with ease, but quickly learn that Rocket League has a steep learning curve. And I'm here to help you get over that steep learning curve and learn the most important mechanic in the entire game, aerials. And if you're new here, I'm Smokey, and I teach you the most important things out of your favorite games. And help me out by just hitting the subscribe button. Now on to our first tip on how to hit aerials, car control. Car control is just basically how much your car will go forward in the air, if the amount of boost you use, or how to control your uh, car in the air. It doesn't have to be towards something, or it can just, um, knowing how to move your car in the air in certain positions. So if you wanna move it, if you wanna get your car to the left, you know how to move it to the left. If you want your car to go right, you know how to move it to the right, forward, back, anywhere. Um, so you need to know that for going up and hitting a ball on move or sitting still, you just, that's the number one thing you need to focus on whenever you're trying to go for aerials or trying to learn aerials. And to help you learn this, just go into free play and get in the air, just boost up in, up in the air and try to move your car. Take your um, camera off of ball cam and onto car cam and just move your car in the air around the field. Try to move around, try to control it. And you don't need to be super amazing at it, but you just need to have a basic understanding of how the car moves, how, how the boost affects your car, flips in the air, it's flipping around. Just experiment with the game and get used to it, get comfortable with it, because you're gonna use that a lot. Next, you're gonna focus on hitting it. So what you wanna do is just go into training, um, preferably just the normal aerial rookie training. The ball is just gonna be sitting still um, in the air and you're just gonna drive up to the ball um, drive, press A or X if you're on PS4 or you might be on PS, uh, PC. Uh, you're just gonna go try to jump and boost and hit the ball. It doesn't have to be in, it doesn't have to get close to the goal. Just try to hit it. That's all, you, that's all we're focusing on, on right here. Just hit the ball and try to control your car to not flip everywhere and just hit the ball. Just get hit the center of the ball and just hit it. Things you want to focus on whenever you're doing this, don't try to tap the ball. Like, don't tap it and then make it just fall to the ground. Try to try to actually hit it and move it somewhere. This will actually help you whenever you want to get it more on target. Instead of just hitting it and it's just going to go straight to the ground or go nowhere. And it might you might have a bad recovery and they might score on you. So, that's a good thing to focus on. And actually make it worth something. So don't, if you have like a bad boost or you're going too fast and you get under it and you hit it back, that's just gonna, that's just gonna do nothing. You're playing for the other team there. You're, you wanna hit it forward and you wanna, you wanna get it on your, on the opponent's side so you can score. Now that you, you should be comfortable just hitting the ball, um, just be hitting it every single time, every single go, you're hitting the ball. Um, maybe some have gone and maybe have not. But now we're gonna focus on actually hitting the ball into the goal. So whenever you drive up and hit the ball and boost in the air and hit the ball, you wanna hit you wanna hit the ball on target. So let's say if I'm driving in from the left side to the ball, you wanna hit it on the right side of the ball so it goes in to the left. And vice versa. If it's too high, you wanna hit it, you wanna get above it and hit it down. If it's too low, hit it up. Get on the bottom, get a bottom, get on the bottom of the ball and hit it up. You know what I'm saying? But if you're having trouble with this and you can't really get the, your car in the position, you're flipping everywhere. I suggest going to your settings and um, making your aerial sensitivity more stiff. Or if you're not, if you feel like you're not in control enough, uh, make it more sensitive. And if you're also having trouble with your car control, I suggest just like lining up your car straight toward the ball, towards the ball, and just practicing there. So with this, you just want to try to hit the ball into the goal. The goal, uh, the goal is to get the goal, and just keep doing it and keep getting comfortable with it. Um, if you keep, if you keep feeling that um, you're barely getting in, or you're tapping it and it's like bouncing in, uh, just try to try to get a little bit more power on that. Try to just like hit it without it touching the ground, because. Um, because if it's just bouncing in or rolling in, you're not getting enough power on it. And it can easily be blocked by a teammate. Or not, might be a teammate, but mostly a defender. Because the defender will always like be expecting 
you'd be bad at aerials, especially if you're in the lower ranks. So just watch out for that. Now next, you only wanna move on to different steps if you feel comfortable with the pass step. So next we have, um, if you're comfortable with the ball and hitting it in the right spot, you wanna add power. So when you expect, when you get power, you expect, oh, I'm gonna flip towards the ball and hit it. That's actually wrong. You wanna flip through the ball so you get more, much more power. And let's say you hit it. Now let's say that you're flipping through and you're not getting enough power. Uh, maybe it's because you're hitting the ball with the front of the car. You might think, well, that should, that's where it should be the most powerful, right? It's actually the corners of the hitbox, the hitbox of the car. The corners of your car, so the, the left side of the front bumper and right side of the front bumper are, are the most powerful spots. So if you flip it and hit the ball with those corners, you'll get the most power out of your car and hitting the ball. So just try boosting up and hitting and flipping into the ball and trying to get it on center. You can actually, if you don't have good car control, you can actually use this to your advantage to hit the ball in a certain direction. And if you do have good car control, you can, you can always hit your shots on target. They'll be a lot more accurate and a lot more powerful and a lot harder to stop. Now after you hit that and you're, you're doing good, you're feeling comfortable with that, now don't move on to the next step. If you're not comfortable with that, I'm not forcing you to move on. Just get comfortable. I'm not I'm not forcing you, but I want you to get better. So try if it's too easy, then it's not you're not doing something right. Try to make it hard for yourself so you learn better. Now with you're comfortable with that, you want to speed it up. So get further back, um, jump further away and use your boost more in air. So it's a little bit of that first step, that car control. You're using that for the air, aerial, this is more in-game situation, so you see this more in-game. Um, so if the ball is hitting off the wall and you see it, you're not gonna get like right under it and hit it, you're gonna jump far away and hit it from there, from like the halfway point or something. And in practice game situations, if you're better in free play and you're hitting all these aerials and you're like, dang, I'm really good, but you get into a match and you're not making anything, or you might not, not have enough boost, go into free play and then turn off unlimited boost and then work on your boost amount. Don't don't throttle it all the way and waste all of it. I would suggest just like tapping it or tapping it enough to get your ball, your car in the air and hitting it on target. Now that you have a basic good aerial and it's fast, you're going, you're going places, you're scoring a lot, you're scoring on opponents, you're ranking up. I wanna talk about when to actually hit the aerial. Cause I see a lot of people like silvers uh, low golds whenever they're first learning how to aerial just going up for it all the time and it's making me so mad that I'm seeing people when the ball is like at the top of the arena and they're jumping up and trying to get it with like 40 boost and not good car control so my number one rule for this is don't go for it when it's super high I'd say whenever it's in when it's in reach and I say, when you're first learning aerials, go for it whenever it's um, needed, like to get a pass, like if it's teammate passes and it's right in front of the goal, go for it. Uh, there's no harm in that. If they recover it and you miss it, um, hit it and they score off that, it's okay, you'll get better with time. Uh, I suggest going back to the other um, training and just practicing and getting better. Um, you can hit it whenever it's redirecting, so if, uh, if there's like a save, save it going up for it there's no harm in that it's either you try or they're going to score on you so might as well try this is going back to the super high one if it's super high and you go for it and you have a really bad recovery it might be an easy goal for the other team and you just fumble your car around on the ground and in the air you have no time no bo extra boost to get the ground get on the ground quick you're going to fumble around not knowing what you're doing and the team is going to essentially be on a two on one. Maybe your team teammate went up for that and it's gonna be a two on two on zero and they're gonna score an easy goal. So have communication with your teammates going up for it. So if one of you guys is daring to go up for a super high aerial, at least have that backup and know knowing what you're gonna do next. So yeah guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, hit the like button. And if you guys want more, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button uh, to be notified when I upload. I'm posting every week, so expect me a video from me every Friday or every Monday. Um, 
So yeah, I just, I just want to thank you guys for being so amazing. And yeah, see you next time. Peace. I can miss any nigga